Now the big question remaining, who will fill the seats that belong to Justin Jones and Justin Pearson? Minutes after Jones was expelled from the General Assembly, Nashville's vice mayor called a special meeting to fill his seat. Five Alert anchor Hunter Hoagland is following this from the newsroom. Hunter, there is a chance that Jones could be back at work at the Capitol next week. Yeah, Carrie, the explosion could, and we say could here, really just be a three-day weekend for Justin Jones. I just got off the phone with Vice Mayor Jim Shulman not too long ago, who called a special meeting for Monday. He says there is a chance that Metro Council votes to put Justin Jones back in his same seat on Capitol Hill. Shulman says when the seat becomes vacant, it's up to local leaders to fill that position temporarily. So here's what happens come Monday, right? The Vice Mayor will announce the vacancy in the House left by Justin Jones. According to the rules, there will then be a four week process where people can submit nominations for an interim representative. Now, important note here, Metro Council could just vote to dis suspend the rules altogether, which means council members have the ability to put Jones back in the same seat come Monday. We talked to council member Freddie O'Connell, who says he will vote to reappoint Jones. Take a listen. We lost six people out of a little school here in Nashville, and they're, they're concerned about decorum to the point where they're willing to violate the democratic process of multiple cities in the state of Tennessee. I just I've never seen anything like this. And Nashville Mayor John Cooper reacting to tonight's news as well, tweeting, quote, these people of Justin Jones's and Justin Pearson's districts were disenfranchised today. I'm proud that Metro Council is meeting Monday to fill the vacancy left in Nashville by today's vote, and I believe they'll send Justin Jones right back to continue serving his constituents. If the council votes to reappoint Jones, he would still need to be sworn back in. And given the dramatic fashion on the floor today, it's unclear when that would even happen or how exactly that would look. Even if he does get a seat back, there will then still be a special election where he'd need to run again. Guys, back to you.